So hi to my FIFA World Cup 2018 Russia prediction. I'm this of course is my prediction. So let's see how it goes. Uh, from the date of this recording, it will be about two weeks, three weeks more. For the World Cup to take place. So we look here at Group A, we have Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Uruguay. Based on the qualification, I really think that Uruguay will definitely go through, followed by maybe Egypt. Um, but, you know, it's either going to be Egypt and Russia. But I know, I'll, I'll actually give my word to Egypt. You know, Mo Salah is there and, you know, they had a pretty struggle, the qualification, but uh, maybe a bit interesting to see Egypt go through. Group B, of course, I think um, not much of uh, not much of a difference really. I think maybe Spain can actually go first, and Portugal is between the two games. I don't think Morocco and Iran. I don't think they're really there yet to to you know to compete with Spain. So that's my prediction for Group B. Group C, nevertheless, I think France will definitely be number one. Um, they have been, you know, really promising in the last few few games in the Euros as well, going all the way to the finals. Um, really good team. Uh, Australia, Peru, and Denmark. I don't think Australia really have the chance since Peru and Denmark are quite uh, reliable teams. So I'm going to go for maybe. I'm going to go for. Um, probably Denmark. I think Denmark might just edge it out. Argentina in Group D, Argentina, Iceland, Croatia and Nigeria. Um, I think Argentina are really good in the in the group stages. They always, you know, kind of have a what, quite competitive group. But I would say Argentina might just go through. So they're going to be first. Iceland, Croatia and Nigeria. And Nigeria did beat Argentina in the friendlies. So um, I would say maybe Nigeria or Croatia maybe Iceland but I think Iceland um, you know they don't really have a lot of experience but uh, I'm gonna give uh, better the doubt that Iceland might go through um, so it's gonna be really interesting to see Argentina and Iceland. Group E um, Brazil nevertheless quite strong Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia and I think Switzerland I think it's pretty much the better side between the two Germany, Mexico, Sweden and South Korea. Germany um, have always been absolutely, uh, you know, defenders of course this time around. But, um, and of course winners of the Confederations Cup. But still, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of issues going on. So, um, let's see if Germany can maybe retain uh, number one. And Mexico, I think, will go for number two. I think they're quite strong this time around. Group G, Belgium, Panama, Tunisia and England. Um, I think England have been drawn into a very interesting group. Uh, they have Belgium, but I fancy of Belgium going first. Panama, Tunisia and England. Well, I think England might have the edge this time around. I think they have really good players. They might actually do it uh, maybe as, as they did in 2006, back in 2006 and of course in 2010. So I think really England could go through this time, but maybe in the second. The Bel Belgium and England game is going to be really important. But you're never, never, never going to know if England is going to slip up, but this is my opinion. So next is going to be Poland, Senegal, Colombia and Japan. Very tough to predict actually. It could be Senegal, it could be Japan. Japan has been, you know, really, uh, you know, quite a superior force. So I would say Japan first followed by maybe Poland are quite strong too. Senegal also pro quite promising the last World Cup. So I think maybe it's going to be Poland or Senegal. I don't think Colombia has the edge yet, but I'm going to go for Poland. So Poland and Japan first. So um, probably maybe Poland first, but I think, well, Japan. So it's going to be Uruguay, Portugal, Spain, Egypt, France, uh, Iceland, Argentina, Denmark, Brazil, Mexico, and um, Germany, and Belgium, Poland, Japan, and England. Uruguay, Portugal, I think uh, Portugal might have the edge to win. Spain, Egypt, um, I think Spain, there could be a slip up. Maybe Egypt can go through, but who knows? But my money goes for Spain to go through um, and
and uh, France and Iceland is going to be France Argentina Denmark quite a tough game there but I think um, I think it's going to be Argentina to go through Brazil Mexico um, Brazil might go to the next round Germany Switzerland are oh, very easy I think Germany will you know at least get a few goals in there Belgium Poland I have to say Belgium quite uh, good Japan and England now this is a very interesting match um, I don't think this side have ever met before have they met before Japan and England other than World War II <laughs> not really sure if they met in the World Cup before I don't think so but I think England might just win it I think with the new squad I think they might just do it you know this time around seems a bit promising uh, Portugal and France it's going to be uh, Portugal and France um, I think it's going to be maybe Portugal uh, I think it's going to be France to go in the next round Spain and Argentina very tough indeed to predict but um, I think maybe you know Argentina with Messi but you know they, they've only always um, you know rely on him Spain is also a good team overall so it's going to be really tough um, but I can, I'm going to say with what happened in the last friendly I think it's going to be Spain uh, of the 6-1 friendly um, Brazil and Belgium oh this is another interesting game but I'm going to say Brazil might just go through and Germany and England is going to be a repeat of the 2010 uh, second round where Germany thrashed England but this time I think Germany could reach I think Germany have always been consistent and they will go through to the next round so it's going to be France Brazil Spain and Germany a lot of my you know um, if always been these four clubs it's going to be maybe France Brazil Spain Germany sometimes Portugal sometimes Belgium do go through Spain and Germany I think uh, you know Germany they're quite good they might just go through to the next round France and Brazil is going to be quite difficult but I think maybe I think uh, you know as far as I, I you know everyone favors Brazil every World Cup but they don't really seem to you know get it I mean they have been favorites the last World Cup they were thrashed out this World Cup again they were favorites uh, back in 2006 as well but I don't think Brazil really got the edge yet I'm just not sure I don't really think they can win this World Cup maybe the next one maybe in Qatar I'm not sure but I think France and Germany will go to the finals um, probably either these two teams now this one is get it gets really really tough to decide whether German can defend being the first team first country to make it two in a row in the World Cup never been done before or it's going to be at least uh, France to repeat their 1998 after 20 years after winning the 1998 I think it's going to be France I think um, yeah Germany could also be there so but I think at the end and in the end of the day it's maybe going to be going to be going to be France I think I think France might just win it this time around because um, they did beat Germany in the Euros they have Griezmann pretty much the only team that I'm confident to beat Germany um, I don't think so far in this few uh, years no Latin teams can actually beat Germany but you know I think France can do it this time around so France uh, I think will win this tournament um with uh with you know quite good players that they have but obviously it's just a prediction so anyhow thank you again